guys, it's Faith. Welcome back to another vlog on the channel. Today is my 21st birthday. Um, I already have been out and about. I got ready. I'm going to be vlogging starting today and then tomorrow as well because I'm going to be spending time with family as well. And we're going to do more birthday celebrations then. So I'm just going to take you guys along on all the 21st birthday journeys. I hope you guys enjoy watching and without further ado, let's get right on into the vlog. Tomorrow I'm going to like my favorite mall ever. So it's like I'm not in a rush to go and shop around, but just something to kill time and it's near here, so I don't know. I look like an absolute crackhead chipping my nails. I just got this new glitter polish and it looks so sheer. So I'm just like, because my nails look like crap already, I'm just chipping them off and then I'm gonna paint this over it. This is probably so bad for my nails, but I don't care. Like if this doesn't turn out well, I'm literally doing them tonight. They're all gone now, but they look disgusting. I wonder if there's like, any moisturizer in here or something? Hand sanitizing wipes, would that work? I feel like it would just dry it out even more. Now they look really, really bad. I shouldn't have done that. I have essential oil, peppermint, and a little cotton pad. This is gonna be my cuticle oil. Peppermint oil can literally do anything. I wouldn't be surprised if this moisturized my nails. I'm just gonna put this, just one coat of this, and then see how it looks. But it's like very subtle sparkles, which is exactly what, what I was like looking for, because I've been looking for a white chrome for the longest time, because I want to nail this nail combo I saw on TikTok, but I'm not seeing any like good white chrome nails. And the ones that were recommended were like dip, and I don't want to do that. So I just found this really pretty sparkly color and it's like not too sparkly at all which I love so yeah my nails don't even look that dry anymore shadow peppermint essential oil okay I'll be right back also I'm looking in this driver's seat compartment black nail polish I am just like my mother doing nails in the car I like it like a subtle glitter. Now imagine if there was like a neutral pink underneath it. I think it would look even better, but for now, this looks good. But it's Olive and June and Cosmic. But literally, not bad for a car manicure, I will say. Lunchtime! I vlogged my food and getting here, but that's about it. Um, but we're at the mall now, all is well. Um, and it's time to go shopping, but very, very big here's the outfit. We, we literally kind of look like we're wearing the same thing. Um, but now we're at the mall, my favorite mall in the world. So I'll take you guys along on like the certain stores I like to go to and what I might get, because I have some birthday money now, but yes. Now we're at, we're at Nordstrom's. That's a good potential thumbnail. <laughs> First place, Zara. Oh my gosh. Is this the new one? Mm -hmm. That's a nice display too. Uh, Have you guys, it is the next day, next couple days actually. I feel like I did not do a great job vlogging my birthday, which honestly every time 
this kind of happens when I see family I want to spend time with them I don't really want to pull out a camera I forget to vlog so that's kind of what happened this time around I really tried to vlog as much as I could on my birthday I spent the entire day with my mom we ran errands, we went shopping a little bit, we went out for lunch. And then just on the birthday night, I had my first drink. And it was just honestly like a super chill night. Like I was watching videos with my dad um, for a few hours and then went to bed by 11. The next day was when I was seeing the entire extended family. So that morning I was getting ready. We were driving up. I know I got some B-roll of driving through Seattle. We went to Hops and Drops in Linwood. Hops and Drops is like one of my favorite restaurants right now because I love getting the barbecue mac and cheese. So obviously I got that. I got a lemon drop too as well because you know, big 21st. And then honestly just spent time with family. We were literally there for like three and a half hours talking so that was good and then after that we went and stopped by a few stores at the mall oh my gosh you guys i wish i vlogged so much more i went through zara i did not know how aesthetic zara was or that specific store we went to the alderwood mall which is honestly my favorite mall ever that i've ever gone to there's a lot of memories at that mall and i absolutely love going there but the zara was amazing we went to the apple store which oh, was beautiful literally was geeking out the entire time there was like pottery barn there and um just a lot of stores and of course i went shopping for like the past few days so i'm gonna show you everything that i got I would say for my birthday, shopping, I also have some things that I got a couple weeks ago. This is just going to be like a humongous birthday haul. Just a fun way to close out the birthday vlog. But honestly, my 21st was like super, super chill. You really didn't miss much besides family and that's about it. So we're going to go ahead and get started with all of the H&M things. So on my birthday, I went to H&M and I went with my mom and we saw this adorable sweater. It's a nice teal color. It's got a turtleneck, super, super thick and warm. There's like these balloon sleeves. It's not cropped. It's like kind of like a regular fit of sweater. Super chunky. Absolutely love it. I think it's a great transition um, between winter and spring because now spring is upon us. I didn't know yesterday the 21st was the first day of spring, but I feel like this is a great way to add a pop of color in that transition. And then I got the jogger. So if you guys didn't see my H&M Basics video, which by the way, thank you for all the love on that. I said that I was looking for a black pair of joggers, but at the time they didn't have it in my size. So I found the black joggers. This was a hunt to find. I actually went on the online store and they said that they didn't have it in a certain location, but I found them. I will link everything down below in case you guys are interested, but yes, I'm so glad that I found these. And then one last thing I got this super cute silver necklace. Oh, it's kind of a little tangled. Just this nice like little chained necklace. It's layered, which I absolutely like. I'm just so glad I found another good silver necklace. If you guys don't know, I am trying to get into jewelry right now. So I'm like shopping at some stuff from uh, Target and H&M. I'm just kind of dipping my toes in a little bit. And then... Um, when I went to the Alderwood Mall, I got this sweatshirt. Never been in New York City before. However, I had to get a sweater. It's so comfy. Like, the inside is just so warm. But I absolutely love it. And I got a small, so it's going to be a little oversized on me. And I thought it would be a super cute pairing with the Heather Gray joggers I just got. Literally the same color. So I got that. And then that is it for h and M. I gotta keep all these receipts and then I went to Aerie and I got a couple bralettes just some of my favorite bras I got in um different colors I'm not gonna show that because I feel like that's kind of weird but um they are called the real me bralettes I think I did a collaboration with Aerie um not last year but the year before during Christmas time and they gifted me these super cute like pajamas but also a bralette I obviously didn't show the bralette on my Instagram but they gifted that to me on the side 
and I absolutely love that bra so much. So I got more. And then the last place is Ulta. Um, this is like Ulta slash Marshalls. Now this is kind of more of the collective haul because I did show some of these things on my TikTok, I believe, and my Instagram. Not 100% sure, but I did show these things on my socials. So if you follow me on there, you probably know what I already got. First thing I got from Marshalls, it's the Dr. Jart Clearing Solution Face Mask. I tried this out last night. It was a fun experience. I put on this mask when I was getting out of the shower. I feel like my skin has been breaking out so bad lately just because like a lot of like eating sugar and just not eating the healthiest. So I feel like my skin is breaking out right now, but it's definitely helping. I actually have a couple pimple patches right here. It's a no makeup day. I've been trying to create content and not do my makeup as much. I did mascara and eyebrow gel and that's it. And because I'm filming TikToks, I just use like the enhancement filter. It's perfect to use on content creating days when you already wore makeup two days in a row and you don't want to wear it third day in a row. But anyways, I got this face mask. It's a sheet mask, which I absolutely like. It's my favorite type of mask, but so far I feel like it did like pull things out. It definitely made my skin feel very soothing afterwards. This is perfect for sensitive skin, which is perfect. Again, I'll leave a link to these things down below. Um, I also got a couple dry shampoos. So this one is a living proof, like the iconic dry shampoo. I got a mini size from Ulta. I'm not hundred percent sure why to this day. They just randomly put that in. Maybe I got enough points. But while it was there, I got the Ava NYC Freshen Up Invisible Dry Shampoo. So I can't wait to give this a try, but for now I've been using the Living Proof. And guys, this stuff literally is a miracle. I absolutely like it. It's definitely worth the investment. Obviously I got this for free, but it's definitely worth the investment. So I'm going to see how this one works out. This is obviously a more affordable option, but... I have used a couple products from Ava NYC before, and I really like their brand, so I'm just giving this a try. Another thing I got, now this is from Marshalls, I got this um, Frizz Be Gone Anti-Frizz Polishing Serum. They sell this brand at um, Marshalls, and I just wanted to give it a try. You know, I have frizzy hair as it is, so I've been using this um, when I get out of the shower, and once I'm done doing my hair, kind of like as like a finishing styling product, I honestly am not like too into hair stuff. Like I do shampoo, conditioner, and sometimes dry shampoo, but I'm not like super into hair products, which is surprising because I have like all this long hair. I just let it grow. But I'm learning new ways to like treat my hair. You know, I have frizzy wavy hair. I do want to accentuate my waves. So that's why I got this serum. Just little things here and there. Okay, so another thing I got is the Laneige Lip Mask. I love their lip mask so much. This and the water moisturizing uh, mask, literally my favorite. I feel like that's like one of those brands that's like worth the investment on, just like the Living Proof. But I got this at Marshalls. Usually it's like $22, $26. I got this for $15.99. Now I saw this deal all over TikTok, so you guys probably have too, but I got the grapefruit one. Okay, last things, I got the e.l.f. brush shampoo. They did not have the Sonia Kashuk brush cleaner at Target. They only had like the spray cleaner, but I like the shampoo stuff. So I was thinking maybe this one will do for now. And the last thing in this haul is obviously a new Tarte Mascara. This is what you get on your birthday for the month of February. They didn't have any March gifts and I didn't want to wait until next month to get April. So I got the Lash Smoothie Volumizing Mascara. Super cute. Just a mini little one. Um, but yeah, that is my haul. But that is my birthday vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow my socials because I'm going to be posting a photo dump on Instagram per usual. What, what else do you expect from me? So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next vlog really soon. Bye!